YouTube, it's Dramon, and the NBA season is finally back. You know what that means. New signature models. So as you can tell by the title of this video, we're going to be talking about this bad boy, the Under Armour Curry 2. This is one of the most anticipated Encore models because of the introduction of Speedform technology to the hardwood. One of my favorite times of the year, getting a signature box and opening it to unveil tissue paper. But then when you unwrap the tissue paper, signature model. Boom shakalaka. Boom shakalaka. Yes, I accept charges. I don't care if it's from long distance. How far? 30 feet from the basket? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, hey, Steph, what's up? What you doing 30 feet from the basket? Oh, just hitting it into some guy's face off a switch? Oh yeah, that's that's normal for you. That's 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 normal. Can you guys tell that I'm pretty excited about the Under Armour Curry 2? I mean, the Curry 1 was a very good model. I think it surprised a lot of people. And to be completely honest with you, I think the surprise factor of, hey, this is the Under Armour sneaker that's good at basketball, really helped the Curry 1 be better than it actually is. Don't get me wrong, the Curry 1, one of the top performers of last year. But it did have some things it could improve on, like the support and, in my opinion, the cushion could have been a little bit better. I just love Under Armour. So I'm excited to get another basketball sneaker from Under Armour because it's kind of slim pickings when it comes to upper echelon basketball models from Under Armour. Really, it comes down to the clutch fit drive, well, used to be the anatomic spawn, and the Curry signature models. So the Curry 2, as you can see, this is the iron sharpens iron, and that's a proverb from the Bible because Curry is a man of faith. So it's pretty cool. In the inside of the tongue here, you can see that there's an iron sharpens iron logo. That's for every colorway of the Curry 2. The Dub Nation version has a Golden Gate Bridge logo, which I think is pretty slick. As for the colorway, I really do like it, but I wish the gray was a little bit lighter. Right now, how it sits, it looks like primer paint, which is kind of cool, I guess. You have that volt to really bright, almost like a creamsicle orange gradient midsole, which is a really nice look. Then you got hits of black, and it's all rounded out by this super clean white outsole. As you can see in the front here, it's a fuse-like synthetic overlay for extra durability and support. Then in the back, it has that speed form that I was talking to you about. Now, this is the first time a basketball shoe has had speed form. I never thought it would be in a mid to high top version of a basketball shoe. I thought speed form would always debut on the hardwood as a low top model. Now in the back here, you might feel when you try it on that there's not a lot of support there. And you know what, to be honest with you, that's pretty much the case. Curry wears two ankle braces. He has a long history with ankle injuries. So he does need a lot of support there, but he's getting external third party support. So if you wear ankle braces, don't fear, this will accommodate you just as it does Curry. But if you don't like wearing third party or external ankle braces for support, you might be a little disappointed, just a warning. But hey, ankle braces are good for you, so I suggest wearing them. I wear one on my right foot. But as far as support on this back end, you do have this heel cup, which is the beefiest heel cup to be used in conjunction with speed form. This heel cup is gonna give you that lateral stability to keep your foot on the footbed to make most of what the cushion setup has to offer. Now that cushion setup would be charged foam. And to be honest with you, I'm a little bit disappointed and let me explain why. If you haven't seen my review of the Speedform Fortis, the cushion setup used there used charged foam, micro G and 4D foam. That's right, three layers of cushioning which provided the best cushion setup of all time in my opinion. Now, let me repeat that. The best cushion setup of all time. And I really thought that Under Armour was gonna put that cushion setup into the Curry 2, but I don't know what happened. They didn't go with it. There's no Micro G or 4D foam. Maybe Curry thought it was a little bit too plush, which I can understand, but in my opinion, a Micro G insole or 4D foam insole would have done the Curry 2 justice. Now you guys aren't gonna be able to see what I'm talking about here because the entire inside of the shoe is black. Speedform uses what they call a seamless heel cup. Exactly what that means is that the shoe, there's nothing, there's no seams, the insole isn't dropped into the shoe. The insole and the shoe is all one thing. It's an interesting feeling at first, but once you get used to it, you're gonna want nothing else. 
However, the Speedform Tech in the Curry 2 does not use this. Now I will say the insole is kind of a hybrid between what other Speedform insoles use and what traditional sneakers use. It almost seems like the seams in the Curry 2 are like inward, so it's kind of seamless, but not really. But that was kind of a huge disappointment for me because the Speedform Tech is just so comfortable and it really feels like an extension of your foot as opposed to a shoe being around your foot. As for the lacing system, as you can see these fingers, which are also the eyelets, there's a lot of them. So it's really gonna wrap around your foot. And for me trying this shoe on, only on my right foot, which is my bigger foot, if you didn't know. The Curry's 2 containment feels really tight in a good way. It's not like pinching or suffocating my foot, but it really grabs onto my foot which should be a really good thing when I'm on the floor because the Curry 2 is, you know, fairly light. So it's a speed driven shoe, it's light. It really should mold around your foot for a really nice overall fit. As far as the traction go, it seems pretty durable, enough to recommend for outdoor use, especially since this front is a fuse overlay. So when you toe drag across the cement, this fuse should hold up nicely. Speaking of this fuse, I thought it was gonna be a little bit stiff. It looks pretty hard in the photos, but when you get it in person, it's pretty durable and pretty synthetic, and a lot of people are complaining that the Curry 2 creased too quickly. What? Aren't you gonna play basketball in it? It's going to crease anyways. And if you're not gonna play basketball in it, what? But at 130, this sneaker is a pretty damn good value, and with plenty of colorways to come, I could see the Curry 2 being one of the most popular sneakers on the hardwood this NBA season. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or concerns and you're a little bit hesitant to cop the Curry 2, let us know in the comment section below. I say us because my subscribers and viewers are great at answering other people's questions for me. I'll try to do my best to get to every one of your comments. Till next time, guys. Peace. Enjoy opening night. Go Lakers. Under Armour tweaked the charge foam cushion setup, which led to its...